1313. Some Ford employees are suing over age discrimination, and it's an important recall of baby formula. Those stories just ahead. Also, John Graham is smelling the chemicals this morning as he and a few friends go blonde. Graham to go is just minutes away, but first, let's see how Monday's looking. Here's Doug. Hmm, John is a blonde. Next couple of days, 92 for tomorrow and for Wednesday. Melissa. Thanks, Doug. Well, Doug, did you know that today is the first ever National Blonde Day? It's supposedly created by a group of blonde lawyers to end blonde discrimination in America. Now, of course, this might just be connected to the fact that Reese Witherspoon's new movie, Legally Blonde, comes out this Friday. So, John Graham decided to go live this morning where they've heard every possible blonde joke. The Forte Salon and Spa in the RDV Sportsplex. John, hey there. how are you? How are you feeling? Are you feeling uh, proud to be a blonde on National Blonde Day? I am so extremely proud. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of left out myself. I'm sorry. But, uh, and I was, I was thinking about asking to see if they had time to turn me blonde, but I'm not sure. We're going to try and do several viewers. This is Debbie. How are you, Debbie? Very well, thank you. Now, you're going to go blonde for us here today, huh? I'm going to try. You ever thought about it before? I haven't today. It'll be my first experiment with uh, hair color. Never done that before? Never. Okay, now we're going to, I'm going to try like a little experiment here because this is you know a highly scientific situation here we want to find out if blondes are dumber and if they have more fun so first are you having fun I'm having fun you sure I think so okay and we'll check back in with her when she's blonder and we'll see if she's still having fun and then also what's the capital of North Dakota Bismarck is, uh, is that right that's, Doug says it's right that's and Doug's correct. not blonde so, done. so she knows the answer now what do you mean that's not blonde what what Huh? What did you say? Huh? What was that? What? Okay. Are we talking to Doug? Is no, that what's hey, going on? Hey, John. Back to me. It's all about me. No, what? I'm sorry. What's up? John, I do think you're in a very uh, thin <laughs> water. So yeah, I know. Melissa's already been giving me a hard time throughout the day today about this. No blonde joke. You want a blonde joke? Yeah. yeah. Uh, why do blondes wear shoulder pads? Why? I don't know. Oh, okay. you're so not funny. Yeah, I know. That's so funny. All right, yeah. Right now, blondes are clicking. Or <laughs> actually, you don't even click anymore. They're just funny boy. Team. You've lost the blonde fan no, base. No, we're, we're making We're bringing more blondes into the world today. We're going to be doing that here at uh, Forte. So come on back. Before the end of the show, blonde. I can't wait to see her. I'm sure she'll look great. Thanks, John. Campaign finances are taking center stage in the nation's capital. Awesome. Well, they say blondes have more fun, so we sent John Graham out to see if it's true. He's down at the Forte Salon and Spa helping Central Floridians like these ladies go blonde. Hey, John. Hey, we've got a frenzy of blondes happening right here. Lauren's going to be blonde. I think I think you know this face, Melissa. Come on, there, there you go. Wave, wave at the camera. There you go. Hey. More, more blondes coming up, and uh, but, but not me. But uh, more blondes coming up because it's, it's National Blonde Day. We're celebrating here at uh, Forte in the RDV. So come on back. It's all ahead on Good Day Orlando. Good morning, it's 7.52. You're with Good Day Orlando on Fox 35. Did you know today was National Blonde Day? I did, in fact. Yes, you did. And our very own John Graham is bringing new blondes into the world in celebration of this great national holiday. It's actually a day. Last Friday, we put out the call for viewers who've never been blonde but would like to be to take part in today's events. And the highly scientific experiment John is conducting yes. right now is to find out if blondes really have more fun. Well, what are you looking at, John? I just, well, they're just putting goo in her hair right now. That's, okay. I assume there's probably a more technical hairstylist name for that stuff. Can you tell me what's that stuff called? Yeah, it's called Shades Above. Ah, Shades Above. Yeah. And so, so uh, they were explaining to me what we're doing here is because we're trying to get most of these people done blonde before the end of the show. So they're not, they're, they're not going to be like white blonde, platinum blonde, Marilyn Monroe blonde or anything. We're going to bring them up a few. And then we're going to throw some highlights in there, maybe. And are you, are you ready to feel, do you think you'll have more fun when you're blonde? <laughs> Most likely. Most likely. You know what that means? That means go away, John. All right, come on over here. We're going to come back and talk to this lovely person back here. Michael. No, uh, this is Lauren, and uh, this is Michael. Now, Michael let the cat out of the bag. He was talking to me earlier. He just came back to the area. You want to tell people here? I'm going to come around this way so they can see you better. Oh, okay, tell, tell, them your, tell them your resume. Uh, background consists of I've been working in the last couple of years for Farrah Fawcett. Derek see, uh, dr the blonde of, oh, of 10 boy, years. That's the big. blonde, Farrah. So did you did you color her hair? Yes. You, no, you're lying to me. It's not. That's not her natural color. Only her colorist knows for sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, he just no. he's just uh, helping. 
Exactly, mm -hmm. just accentuating what Mother Nature already gave her. So is, is there a name for her color, or do you have to like throw a million things together and it's your own special concoction? It's kind of a special concoction. Mm -hmm. Hers was uh, exclusively hers. Mm -hmm. we and, didn't, and, and does she have more fun? Of course, mm -hmm. of course. You want, to, you want to tell us any good dirt about Farrah? It is National Blonde Day, come on. She, no. I'm sure she's not watching. She's off in L.A. or something. No, there's no dirt to be told. Nothing? Oh. Nothing, to nothing good. Huh? Nothing good. All no. right. Here, Lauren. Do you, do you feel do you feel honored? The hands that have been in Farrah's hair I'm are in your hair right now. I'm thrilled to be sitting right here in Michael's chair. Were you a little worried when they said we're gonna uh, we're gonna make you blonde, or did it Not take much convincing? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I wanted to do it. I'm just thrilled that I have Michael. Mm -hmm. Now tell me why. Why did you want to try blonde? <laughs> I wanted a change, and I didn't want to cut my hair, mm -hmm. so I thought color might be the the best way to go. Mm -hmm. Now are you worried people will think you're stupid? No, of course not. <laughs> I'm not saying they should. All you blondes out there and people who want to be blonde, I'm not saying I think their blondes are dumb. But, you know, they, they have that, people, you know, have that stereotype of blonde. No, I definitely don't think mm -hmm. so. Here, should, no. I tell, should I tell you, I've been, I studied up on my dumb blonde jokes. Like now, this it. one, now you're not blonde yet, so, uh, but I'll tell you this one as if you were a blonde. You know how you confuse a blonde? How? Blue. See, look at, look at her face. I did it. I think she's blonde inside already. Oh, come. you are really on thin ice now. Oh, come on now. That, well, that was a good joke, I thought. You want me to go get that? Here, I got my jokes over here, I think. Oh, nope, they're Tell over here. Tell about the movie. The movie? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if people want to come down, since these are lucky viewers who are getting their hair done here, uh, we have a little clip of the movie, uh, Legally Blonde, which opens on Friday. Yeah. There are still tickets available here at uh, Forte if people want to... Uh, get a free pass for, what, what does anybody know what is the show? Tomorrow, I think it is? Hang on, I got a couple right here. Yep, Tuesday, 7.30 at the Regal Cinemas, Waterford Lakes 20, East West Expressway, Alafaya Trail right there. You can come here to the RDV and uh, go to Forte, the, the uh, sal salon and spa right here, and you can pick up some free tickets on Fox 35 in Good Day Orlando. And, okay, I got all my jokes here. You want, you want to help me out? Th we're, you want to help me out since you're closer to blonde now? You want to try one of these blonde jokes? All right. Why do blondes not like to make chocolate chip cookies? I have no idea why. Because it's so hard to peel the M&Ms. <laughs> oh, uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I, I, I sense, what, am I getting a little close to the bone there, <laughs> Melissa, or something? A little too close to home? Oh, hmm? well, what were your SAT scores, John Graham? I don't know. You wow. don't even remember? Nope. John, just remember that all the blonde jokes that you make, mm -hmm. I am going to feel the wrath since I am in the closest <laughs> okay, well, proximity to the uh, one legally see. blonde person. How do, you, how do you make a blonde's eye sparkle? Uh, John Graham's microphone gets turned off. Does shine a flashlight in her ear. Oh! Hey, so hilarious. Right. Thanks, John. See you, John. No, it's all in fun. But was, are you okay with this? I'm fine. Okay, we're just making it. You're welcome. Let's go out to John Graham, who is helping women go blonde this morning. John, where are you? Hey, you got it right. I really am helping, and she's thrilled. They handed me the brush. Oh, <laughs> now don't get it on your hair. Oh, my goodness. I'm creating more blondes than I meant to. Wait a second. Just right here. I'm at Forte. Now, you watch me. Am I doing okay here? Looks like good like, to me. like that. There we go. Don't keep keep going. going. Keep going. Keep going all the way to. There, hang on. I better turn it over to somebody who knows what they're doing. Thank Just you. in case anybody official is watching, I have no license of any sort. Uh, <laughs> we're at uh, Forte. This is all for National Blonde Day. We're helping make viewers blondes. We got I don't know, probably close to ten people in here right now. Come on back. They tell me at least some of them will be blonde by the end of the show. Okay. So we'll see you in just a bit. We'll look forward to that. Thanks, John. It's either one of the most. Creek Road. Back to you. Thanks, Jay. It's 820. A group called the Blonde Legal Defense Fund has declared today National Blonde Day. And amazingly enough, that coincides with the premiere of the new movie, Legally Blonde. John Graham is live this morning creating some new Central Florida blondes. In celebration of all this, he's at the Forte Salon and Spa in the RDV Sportsplex. Good morning. Hey there. Uh, they've got blondes in action. I'm, I'm a little confused here. So this is, I get to talk for a couple minutes, right? Hello? No? Yeah, no, yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Good. All right. Because what I figure we do is while they're making everybody blonde in celebration of both National Blonde Day and uh, the movie Legally Blonde, I figure what we do is some of the people who work here have, have been blonde, are blonde, used to not be blonde, that kind of thing. So uh, I don't want to give you a hard time there, CJ, but uh, you, you, you have been less blonde before in your life, right? Yes, actually, I just went blonder. I don't want to let you out of the closet or anything, but you have been less blonde than you are now. Yes. Are you having more fun? Yeah. Now tell me the truth. Do you think blondes have more fun? What do, how do people react to you when you're blonde, blonde versus lesser blonde? I think they stare a lot. Mm hmm And they're just more friendly. Like this? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> more friendly, too, huh? I heard okay. you are going to go blonde today, also. Uh, I thought about it, and then my boss said, no. So. 
Just highlights. Just... No, hey, I just, I, I, you know, I, who signs my checks? Does CJ sign my checks? No. No. So mm -hmm. we got to do that. But come on over here. Let's see. I don't know if we got room. No, th this is, it's Tally, right? Right. Now, Tally, you're, you're obviously a uh, brunette. That would, we, we would call this brunette right now? Correct, yeah. And you have been blonde. Yeah, and actually I'm a natural blonde. Mm -hmm. so. Now, see, people are thinking you're crazy there. You're actually blonde and you dyed your hair dark. Yes. So, I which is more fun? Um, well, I want to go blonde, but it's going to be a long road to get mm -hmm. there. So I do enjoy being blonde, though. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Now, have you been other colors? Have you been, like, pink or green or that kind of thing? I've been pink. I've been red. I've been purple. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all the colors. And which was the most fun? Were any of them more fun than being blonde? It's definitely a toss-up between the blonde and the pink. Mm -hmm. Definitely like the pink. You get stares from both of those. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> no, and, and you're getting ready to be blonde-er. I can see from what's poking out the edges of the foil there that you're already a little blonde. Well, actually, I'm going purple today. Oh! I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I am going blonde. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and what made you want to do this? Um, friends. Other than Melissa. Yeah, my friends convinced me to go a little lighter. Mm -hmm. So it's the summertime, and I'm going to do it. Now, here, you ready for a blonde joke? Let's go. Okay, what do you call a blonde who dyes her hair brunette? Do you know that what? one? What? No. It's uh, artificial intelligence. Oh, you know, <laughs> I've got one for you. Uh, uh oh, she's why got one for they, me. Why do they keep the blonde jokes so short? So men can understand them. <laughs> see, that's okay. I See, I'm not upset. That comes to us from a, an alert viewer in Port Orange who wanted to help me out. Somebody with your, emailed you or called in? They called in. All right, yeah. No, no. Here, hang on. i got more jokes here. You want another one? Sure. Why, why did the blonde return the scarf? Why? Because she thought it was too tight. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> and why do blondes always smile during a lightning storm? Why? You know that one, CJ? Yeah. No. Well, oh, you, what? So you think, who over here thinks they know the answer? You think you know, or oh, you think you know? They think their picture's being taken. Yeah, that's what they There you go. <laughs> oh. So she, see, it, blondes can tell blonde jokes. It's all in good fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, Lots of fun. Well, well, hopefully we'll have some people here blonde by the end of the show. So come on back. I'm looking forward to seeing that. She's going to look great. Thanks, John. Let's go over now to wine expert and brew. All right, thanks so much, Doug. It's 842, and uh, it's a little blonder than usual today around town because today yeah. is a National Blonde Day. And I'm lucky. I always get to sit next to a beautiful blonde and to celebrate. Listen We're making this. some new ones. Kissing up a little bit. Yeah. Some viewers who have never been blonde before are getting some highlights, and that's where John Graham is at this morning mm -hmm. at Forte Salon and Spa at the RDV Sportsplex. Hey, John. Hey, it is a frenzy. It's a blonde factory here at uh, Forte this morning. We've got... Oh, I guess somewhere between 10 and 12. What do you think, Melissa? About 10 or 12. About 10 or 12. All right, I counted right. So uh, I figured what we would do is, because we're getting everybody blonde here, for, it, today is National Blonde Day, the first annual National Blonde Day. And gee, what a coincidence. Today is National Blonde Day, and then the movie Legally Blonde comes out on Friday. Wow, what an amazing coincidence. So we're here watching all these folks get blonde. Now, we were, check, we were trying to find a natural blonde here in the building. And Melissa's probably the closest thing we've found so far. You're a rare species. Now, you helped it along a little bit, didn't you? A little. A little. Now, you didn't want me to. It's not 60 minutes or anything here, but we just wanted to clarify that she is blonde, <laughs> just not quite so blonde. So tell me, tell me the truth. Having lived as a blonde, is it hard dealing with the whole? Because they've been mad at me back at the station. I've been telling blonde jokes and stuff. <laughs> Do you get mad when people tell blonde jokes? No, not at all. They're funny. No, see, not Melissa, Melissa back humor. at the station was getting mad at me. I'm, I'm not sorry, mad that. at all. Humor. I'm sorry? Wait, I'm hang on. sense of humor. Does she see? <laughs> I'm not mad. Oh, do you hear the tone of her voice, everybody? I'm not mad! <laughs> I think that's mad. I think she's upset. You're just looking for mileage. All right, so here, let's, let's run around. Let's see who else we can talk to here now. Now, this is Debbie. Debbie, here, turn around here just for a second. I know you're thrilled to be on TV with aluminum foil in your hair. De <laughs> Debbie is the one probably closest to being blonde right now. So uh, how, you're, you're in the middle of it now. How are you feeling? Uh, uh, no, I'm kidding. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good about it. I feel I'm having fun. So you, and, and we were joking earlier at the very beginning of the show, I gave her a pop quiz to see if, you know, she was intelligent as a brunette. And so should I ask you some other state capitals it. now? Sure, go for it. All right. Um, Missouri. Jefferson City. <laughs> well, see, she's the blonde back at the station, dude. See, now, she's not even blonde yet, and she is already forgetting the state capitals. <laughs> she, she knew North Dakota. It's, no, it's, it's Jefferson City. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Say, say it like no one can hear us. Say Jefferson City. It's Jefferson City. All right, very no. good. Highly scientific. So come, come, come on in here, Sharon, real quick. Sharon, Sharon's the general manager here at Forte. So what do you think? Do people get a bum rap, this whole blonde thing? You know, people think they're... People do think they're more fun. Blondes have more fun, but then they get the whole people thinking they're dumb thing. Have you, have you ever been blonde, blonde? 
Never been blonde, blonde. This mm -hmm. is as blonde as I've ever been. Mm -hmm. I'm so, definitely having more fun. So, I mean, really, what what should people expect if they if they go blonde? You, because you've, I'm sure, I'm, have turned hundreds of people blonde in your career. They can certainly expect to be treated differently, mm -hmm. and uh, they have to prove themselves a little bit. Oh, real quick, we're almost out of time, but real quick, if you could roll the clip, we got some video because of Legally Blonde, that movie that comes out on Friday. There's a sneak premiere tomorrow. If you come here to Forte, you can get a ticket for two, a free ticket for two. They're going to be at the front desk here. Forte is an RDV. You know, come get your hair cut if you want, but otherwise, just come and get yourself the free ticket for two. That'd be my advice. Sure. And then you know, see the place, and you know, decide if you want to, you know, maybe go blonde yourself in celebration of. National Blonde, National Blonde Day. Day. Thanks, John. I, I'm looking forward to see how it all comes out at the, at the end of the show. Me too. Well, you know, there may be some blondes in the members membership of Mensa mm -hmm. and at the Forte Salon and Spa in honor of National Blonde Day, Ooh. which today it is. Thank you very much. Just do that for me. Once. Like so? Like, I don't know. I think I we know. should let the ladies down at the <laughs> salon do it. Right. Here's John. Hey. Oh, sorry, I was taking a little nap there. Uh, I think by law, every salon has to play Ricky Martin. I was just grooving to the Ricky Martin there on the, uh, on the, over, on the speakers. Uh, these two are the closest we got to blonde right now. You, you can't rush blonde. We will create no blonde before it's time. But uh, they're going to get about uh, 12 people or so blonde down here. I have one last blonde joke from, from Forte Spa and Salon at the RDV Sports Complex. You guys ready? Sure. Yeah. All right, uh, blonde was driving out toward Disney World. Yeah. And she got to the sign that said Disney World left, so she just turned around. Disney World left. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Okay. She thought it left. Yeah, right. yeah, we got it. Okay. Doug, did you sure you're not blonde today, Doug? I, John, you know what? Today I couldn't tell you whether I was or not. I, I'm really just. Oh, and by the way, there. if anybody wants tickets, uh, we've got tickets for a sneak preview of Legally Blonde tomorrow. You can come get the tickets today okay. here at Forte at the RDV. Do you have Excellent. to register to be blonde? No, just is that what the deal is with Legally Blonde? I don't think so. You didn't register? No. There's okay. no registry that I'm aware of. I'm just wondering. Let's check out the Redneck Games if you're